Welcome to Book Stories, our video podcast about all things literary. You can visit the Book Stories webpage at bookstories.org. Book Stories is brought to you by the Attic Bookstore at atticbookstore.com. Today on Book Stories, we take a look at book-related news stories. We talk with Caitlin hamilton Summy about a book titled House of the Deaf, and we explore the similarities between Desperate Housewives and the first American novel. Da Vinci Code author Dan Brown is being sued by two historians who claimed that he copied their book, The Holy Blood and the Holy Grail, for Brown's best-selling novel. Part of the suit had already been dropped last year. This is the second time Brown had had to defend his book. The first was against author Louis Bordeaux. Lolita Files novel, Sex, Lies, Murder, Fame, is being promoted with an online music video. The book is a satirical look at what people will do to get fame and fortune in the music world. You can find the video through a link at bookstories.org. You can expect to see more like this as Bantam Dell, a division of Random House, is sponsoring a competition for student filmmakers to create 30-second videos for three upcoming novels. In this week's Check It Out segment, Caitlin hamilton Summy from Unbridled Books introduces us to a new novel. Today I brought House of the Death by Lamar Heron. This is the story of Ben Williamson. Ben's oldest daughter, Michelle, traveled to Spain for study abroad. And one day, while taking her daily morning run, she's accidentally caught in a bombing by Basque separatists and is killed. This fills Ben with such grief. Um, Michelle's death tears the family apart. Ben and his wife divorce. And after a few years, because he's still struggling with the grief, Ben travels to Spain to try to understand what happened, to try and make sense of this terrible loss. In the end, he becomes so overwrought that he decides he's going to take action. This is also the story of Annie, who's the surviving sibling. Michelle had called Annie uh, the spare daughter. She was the spare in case anything ever happened to Michelle. And Annie has always had a really complicated relationship with her older sister because of it. She's very ambivalent about the death. But when she realizes that her father has gone to Spain, she goes after him, suddenly afraid of what he might do. This is a beautifully written novel, heartbreakingly beautiful, um, that has been praised by the likes of William Kennedy, Laurie Moore, and Stuart O'Man. Again, it's called House of the Death. Viewers of today's Desperate Housewives might find it surprising that the first American novel was a tale of seduction, incest, and suicide. The Power of Sympathy by William Hill Brown was published in 1789 by Isaiah Thomas and Company. The book is dedicated to, quote, the young ladies of United Columbia and is about love and sentimentality as well as cautioning against seduction and its power to destroy. The novel was considered quite racy in its day and ends with an almost Shakespearean epitaph that reads, And sympathy united, whom fate divides. <laughs>